Do you know the myth of the sexless, nameless Asian servant who became successful? For many years, generation upon generation, a monolith, separate from them and different from those, served a great people with a greater purpose. And among this monolith stood another such monolith, an even shinier institution, a tower so high it stood above the clouds, only birds of prey and jet planes as companions. On one auspicious day, the clouds parted for a mere moment and the shinier monolith reflected the sun's rays into the heart space of this servant, which lit a fire inside them that could not be extinguished. Ignited, inspired and focused, the servant's only dream was to reach the top of that monolith, remembering the wisdom from the oriental fantasy, we can be whoever we want to be. They were warned their journey would be hard. Many before them had failed, with only a handful of disheveled, disembodied, and disgraced servants ever returning home, forever changed from their failures. The servant heeded these warnings out of respect, out of honor, but swallowed these stories for another time. This was now their time, and they had luck on their side, because after all, they had been chosen by the shinier monolith. The servant would simply have to be better, be brighter, be whiter, be righter than those who had come before. They would have to forget, leaving behind all that they had learned, their language, their songs, their food, their mother's love. In order to cope, to protect themselves, and to survive, they listened, mimicked, embodied, and emulated what they saw, those white and right around them. Perseverance. The servant climbed through many seasons, many shifting times on the backs of others, pushing their way through, always knowing when to dodge left or veer right. When their journey became harder still, they learned to repress their instincts and suppress the need to speak up, speak at all. They learned to look like those around them, to shine less, to be whiter, to be righter. They learned to oppress those around them, those who looked like them and also those who didn't. It was the fire inside them, however, pushing them forward towards the top of the shinier monolith and remembering the words of wisdom from back home, perseverance. Your politeness is your weapon, your sex and gender too. Play to your strengths, it will get you far. But play to your desires, and you may as well turn back now. Reveal only enough, never show your cards, and don't stop counting. You have to be better, stronger, silent. Don't forget to record in stereotype font American Dream. Land ho, land home, land home, land home of the brave. Wow, who knew perseverance could make you successful? The nameless but now sexualized servant had reached the top of the monolith, where birds of prey whizzed and jet planes stormed by, neither stopping to say hello or stay for a while. They were on top of the world with the loud, large and mighty. They could be whoever they wanted to be, desired, envied, revered, the boss, the man, powerful and strong, tall, virile, white and beautiful. They could be whoever they wanted to be, an oriental fantasy, just not who they were. Check all belongings at the door, come be whoever you want to be. And in that moment, a deep and profound sadness extinguished the flame inside their heart, and a well as powerful as the seven oceans combined burst through every pore of their bleached and manicured skin, washing all their shame and regret into a riverbed of grief that snaked west to where the sun gently bid good night. A wisp of wind whistling home, 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 but they had forgotten their way, their language, their joy, their love, themselves. 
they had forgotten their way back home. <laughs> 